I like these cars quite a bit. Yeah. These things are good. Yeah, I like these. Um, my preferred spot at Mid-Ohio is turn one on the hill because you can see the fast. They, they just emerge from under the footbridge. You don't want to try somewhere new. Yeah, you can see them, you can see them pit out. You can see them try to thread the needle of pit out where there's a little bit of a curb plus some dirt. And every now and then they'll run into the dirt. Um, so it's a little exciting. Uh, so you can see them fly out there and get a lot of G-force through that corner. Uh, go up towards the keyhole. Come out of the keyhole. You really can't see them go up towards it. Though. You, Once no, they come out of that corner, be, you lose you lose sight yeah, of everything. You have to be a little ways out on the hill to see the keyhole decently. But then before you know it, you see them emerge through the long straight out of the keyhole. Yeah, but up here, like if say where everyone's crowded on the top of the hill, you can see going into... I would call it a carousel type of thing, but uh, yeah. Well, that's like a not the car- the carousel is the last turn. Oh uh, yeah, you it's, know it's more than corkscrewy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you want to call it that, you can also see the end here. I mean, if you're on the top of the hill, you could see most things. There's a reason why if you watch, look for the crowd of people gathered up, that's where the best place to watch is. I mean, in their opinion. Definitely a lot more close racing in this series yeah, a little than, bit. Uh, in the, in the uh, Pro 2000 series. So that's the best place to watch in their opinion. And we'll walk. I'll have you walk over there and make a judgment. We'll yeah. make a determination there's, before this is over. There's much less walking to do here than a VIR. Um, and way much less than Watkins Glen, I can attest to. Oh, I can imagine. Watkins uh, Glen is a much larger track with the booting. So when you're at Mid-Ohio, for anybody that wants to visit, and I recommend it, uh, where we are now, which is, uh, what would this be, turn five, six, something like that, the end of the long straight, uh, that's a place to sit, and turn one exit is a place to sit. There are other places, but I think this is pretty much the bulk of it. Uh, when you're at a major race, they have monitor screens in both spots, so you're not missing anything. I, I imagine the rest of the, there's a couple more viewing berms, uh, but I would imagine those aren't places to, to go. Yeah, well, I checked out, like, if you rent a golf cart, you can go all the way around the track on yeah. a path. And yeah, kinda, you, could. you can kind of stop and look, but there doesn't look like, other than the kind of natural hill and arena they have here um, in these corners of mid-Ohio, it's really just going to stop and look. You're not going to camp out or hang out there. Well, that's any road race. You're going to, you need to move around. If you, if you go to a road course and you don't move around a bit, you're just wasting your opportunity. Yeah, I mean, that's what it's made for. Yeah, we've said that before, and that's that goes for any of these tracks, any of these road courses. Now I can check off this mid-Ohio. We'll be at Road Atlanta in, in uh, uh, November. November. Yeah. So, I mean, we can, we can kind of express our opinions on that as we go. 